Tuesday morning, Nigerians got a shocker. Petrol price was increased from 540 naira to 617 naira. This development immediately dominated discourse on the social and conventional media. Speaking on the new pump price of petrol, the group chief executive officer, Mele Kari, attributed the change in price to market forces occasioned by deregulation of the oil sector. Reacting to this, some Nigerians in the nation's capital said the new price has affected them adversely and worsened the increased cost of living. It's what you buy, that's what you are going to sell. Because yesterday they increased the fuel suddenly to 617 naira per liter. And now we are carrying my Tama 500. So my Tama now, even if you are going to beggar, it's still 500. But whenever we are coming back, we still, because we need to consider each other. Everybody, is, they, they, they didn't increase salary. They didn't increase any. There is no palliative for this subsidy. People are really suffering. I don't know the, the reason why they are even putting, remove, adding another money. We are carrying 500 because uh, from uh, uh, Katampe Junction here to um, Use 2, Matama, we carried 500 due to the price of uh, the increase of the fuel. The price of transport have jumped up with another 200% as we speak right now. Of course, within uh, Abuja, you know, coming from the satellite area of Abuja into the city centers, the prices have changed. Not like what we entered two days back or last week, the price has really increased, about 200% increase in price of transportation. For this oil marketer, who also laments the change, he said the federal government needs to probe into the affairs of the NMPCL and also fashion out ways to alleviate the suffering of the people. Going by what is happening in the country, uh, ranging from the dollar crisis, the prices of crude oil product in the international markets, and uh, other factors is what lead to this uh, situation. Uh, I believe if government agency like NNPCL, which was uh, not fully privatized, can keep on the importing enough products so as to block some marketers from going for importation, it will still have impact on the price. All those who spoke call on government to do something urgently as the current minimum wage is inadequate to match the rising cost of living. Juliet Dengiwa, ITV News.